I'm commenting on the Carly Russell situation. Um, We all have the same information. And what we are all hearing is that she's not speaking out. The police are still doing the investigation and gathering information. And we don't know exactly what happened yet. So most people are speculating. My whole thing, my whole take on this whole thing is the following. If she wasn't taken, she's going through a lot. She lost her job. According to what they said, they said she'd done something illegal at work. And if she planned this entire um, escape, so to speak, and she found out, imagine being on the run by choice and you find out the whole nation is looking for you. Now she comes back and she has to now deal with what she did professionally and this story that she plotted and carried out. So no matter how you slice it, this woman needs us to understand that she's human and to give her some space to be human and to have made mistakes. If she was taken, she's going through a lot of pain and, and she needs space so that she can speak up when it's time. She gave the police information. She described supposedly the people that abducted her, what she was in, et cetera, et cetera. So no matter how you look at this woman, she's a human being that went through something. She went through something. Well, she stole something at work and and she planned this whole thing as as they're suggesting. Don't you think she still needs us to understand her? Because she has to live with this and it's not going to be easy. And we're acting as if we're judges, you know, Like, we're so perfect that we can look at her and say, well, look at what she did. I want my money back. I want my prayers back. Listen, we all handle life differently. And every single one of us have done things that we were not supposed to do. And every single one of us have had to reap what we've sown. So I think mercy belongs right here. If we find out what she did, and she platted this whole thing herself, we need to have compassion on her. We do, because you're the same person that's going to make a mistake tomorrow, and you're going to need people to understand you. It may not be the entire country. She's got to face the whole country. And even some people in other parts of the world heard her story. This is a very difficult thing for her to deal with if she really was not abducted and plotted this and carried out her own quote unquote abduction. So no matter how you slice it, this woman needs us to to really give her some space and she really needs us to wait for her and greet her with heart, with love. Seriously, we need to say it's okay. We all make mistakes. We need to let her put her head on our shoulders and pat her back and let her cry it out. She's going to say, I didn't know everybody would care so much. She's going to need us. Seriously, women, we need to get off our high horses and stop acting like now is a chance for me to like celebrate somebody else's mistake because we know all the mistakes that we each have made. So it's so much fun sometimes to laugh at somebody else or to be able to criticize another person and take all the attention off of your mistakes that you're living with every single day. Because we have to sometimes live with our mistakes. Sometimes those mistakes, don't, we don't just get to get up tomorrow, the next day and say, well, I washed my face and my mistake is gone. Sometimes it's 10 years, 15 years that we're living with the consequences of our mistake and God's mercy that it didn't gobble us up sometimes. So I think we all need to have some compassion and mercy on this woman. And we need to really give her space and be there with love to say it's okay. Be there with some understanding. 
because we've all been there where we've had to look up at people that we care about and say, you know what? I did this and I shouldn't have. And that's what I want to say to everybody. I hope this um, post finds lots of people. And I'm not going to act like a person that needs to whip the next person to make myself feel good. Because I don't. I'm going to need grace tomorrow. I may have to ask for forgiveness tomorrow or today for something I did that I shouldn't have done. So if she made this mistake, or you know what, let's not call it a mistake. Let's call it a decision because it was a choice. If she made this choice, we don't get to whip her for that. As I said, put your arms out and say, you know what? I know you really messed up, didn't you? It's okay. We've all been there. We all make our own special mistakes. And we all have to be big enough to deal with it. Let's give her some space to admit and face herself if she plotted this and not keep tearing her down as a black community. Please have some understanding and compassion for somebody else for once. That is not a man. Have some compassion for a woman why, why don't you give it a try and see what happens instead of getting on your high horses and condemning her and judging her? I would never. This is a lot of women. I would have never done that. Not me. That's ridiculous. Well, you did something else that you shouldn't have done that we would never have done either. And maybe nobody knows about it. And if we knew about it, maybe we'd have the uh, position to talk about you, but we won't because we've also done things that we shouldn't have done and, and men included, but I'm expecting the black women to, to have a heart. I don't care if she did it on purpose. We all did things on purpose. Okay. I'm just glad she's safe and I'm glad she's alive and I'm glad this didn't last very long. And I really do hope there was no child on the highway as they're suggesting. So we don't have to worry about that aspect of these traffickers. Because that would be a total nightmare. So let's please, let's be grown women. And let's, let's have a sisterhood. Maybe this will be the beginning of our sisterhood where we can love each other and be empathetic to each other as women and not be rivals. We're supposed to love each other because literally we are all we have. We are all we have besides God Almighty.